Sama pang palang araw sa inyong lahat. Good day everyone, my name is Jonas. I'm your overseas Filipino worker's advocate. And welcome to my vlog, Usapang OFW, where you will learn a lot of things about buhay po sa abroad. I want to share to you wonderful, wonderful experience. Magugulat kayo ng, ay, I miss someone. Who is this? Yeah, can you say hi to everyone? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, I know a lot of people are experiencing a lot of troubles and problems in their lives. And here's what I realized, especially working overseas, you can never run away from problems. Sometimes medyo misleading yung social media, like almost everyone else, they don't have any problems, like pinapakita lang nila yung external ba, like they are showing that they are okay, but literally every person has a problem and we do not celebrate that, but it's really true, may mga tao talaga, halos lang talaga ng tao may pinagdadaanan. But one thing that I learned is that, may mga tao karamihan sa kanila, when they are experiencing something, it feels like the end of the world, it seems like... Um, parang katapusan na ng mundo it seems like they are really different because they think that sila na lang lagi may problema sila na lang maraming pinagdaanan but for me, lahat tayo meron okay? a good reminder to everyone is that all of us encounter problems, all of us hindi po wala pong excuse sa atin in terms of problems so yung mga nakikita nyo mga tao, mga kaibigan nyo they seem strong, they look strong they act as if they are really strong may mga pinagdaanan pa rin yung mga yan okay? so my point is this, if um, other people can, then kaya-kaya nyo namang malampasan siguro. I wanna share to you a wonderful story. You know what? Um, I featured it in, in my book. I was born on a small boat in the middle of a river in a virgin forest. Imagine that. Um, I'm, I grew up in Palanan, Isabela. It's a far-flung area. <laughs> and it's uh, beside the Sierra Madre mountain range. And it's really uh, an old life talaga doon. We're in nothing, no, no electricity, and laid back, laid back, parang ba laid back yung buhay. So, when my mom mag-deliver na siya, doon kasi mga hilot lang eh, kasi malayo pa yung hospital. We are maybe two hours away through boat sa bayan. But after that, um, nag-labor na siya ng ilang oras, I think one day, two days na, when they plan to bring my mother to the hospital in the nearby town, Ayon, sa bangka, mga 20 minutes before they reach the hospital, diniliver ako. Imagine yung time na nasa, they are in the middle of a virgin forest, in a river, and on a small boat, na halos sa lahat sa mga bagay, ano, lahat mga, I think there's no emergency kit that they have, maybe, I don't know, may blanket, but imagine the struggle that they had during that time. And for me, I consider myself self-supporting no? as a real survivor. Why? Because in the first few minutes of my life, parang na-exposed na ako sa unang problema eh. But then, I was able to get the chance na makapag-survive. Uh, makapag, uh, and I think that's one trait that I develop all throughout. Na feel ko magsusurvive ako sa kahit anong problema at kahit anong pinagdadaanan. Imagine few seconds of my life. I'm few years few seconds old pero kinaya na di ba? So for me as long as you have faith in God and you continue to pray you can definitely overcome whatever problems that you have. Ulitin ko ha normal lang may problema hindi pwede kakaiba ka dyan it really happens and uh, my main advice to you is you sit for a while contemplate focus on the solution and then try your very best na ma-overcome mga pinagdadaan mo Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button and also the bell para updated ka lang lagi. Lagi mo lang tatandaan. Ibig sabihin ng OFWI, Overseas Filipino Winners. Bye-bye!